Hi, my name is Chris Gruber. I'm the product manager for InfoSphere Mashup Hub, which is a part of the IBM Mashup Center product. And I wanted to uh, describe how we can extend the reach of that product uh, through an extension called a plugin. So we've written a DeveloperWorks article, which should be posted uh, on DeveloperWorks. And this video is likely attached to the, that document. And what we're going to do is uh, extend it through a, a means of uh, offering a translation service um, which is from Google actually, and we're able to translate data through the IBM Mashup Center. So if you're going to work through a scenario, we're going to actually work through the uh, challenge of taking our product data and translating it um, into German uh, through the combination of IBM Mashup Center and the Google Translation Service. So with that being said, we're going to switch over to Infosphere Mashup Hub. You'll notice in the feed uh, sources that we ha now have a new departmental feed called Translation. This is the direct result of our article that we wrote on DeveloperWorks. So we're going to select that plugin, and we are presented with a new dialog. We'll select the English source language and select German because we're going to translate our product list to German. Now our input text is a default parameter called Hello World which we'll make promptable, so it will be able to be used as a prompting service uh, throughout the demo. I'll click on Next. Let's enter the title. And the description. And provide some tags. We'll create this as a public feed and click on Finish. Let's click on Home and utilize this in a new feed mashup. So let's pull our first source out onto the palette. This is going to be our English product list. From the catalog, This is a product list that's actually coming from an Informix database. We're going to utilize the advanced services within the feed to manipulate the data in an XML format. We're going to select the repeating row element to make it easier in our mashup. Now let's select our second source which is our translation service. Again, we obtain this from the catalog. I'm going to show you the URL parameters. you notice the trans text is a parameter that we're going to be using as an input parameter uh, for our feed going forward. Now let's use the for each operator to wire these two together. So for each product, we're going to send the product information into the trans text input. We're going to select the row and the actual text of the catalog description. If I click on Preview, we'll see now a title, which is a German version of our product catalog information. Now let's take the feed and transform it into the format that the data viewer widget is expecting.
we'll create a few new elements. And within each row, we will list product and catalog number. So we'll select the German translation for the product. And within each row, we have the catalog number. And we'll select this number. And we'll proceed to publish this out as an atom format. We'll save this up. And provide a description. And we'll proceed to add some tags. And we'll finish this up. If we go into feed details, we can add to Lotus mashups. We'll select the demo drawer with the star icon and proceed to finish that up. So if I went now over to Lotus mashups and refreshed, I should see in my demo drawer German products, now considering that I'd like to see the catalog number first, I'm just going to quickly move that up in the list. And now our teams in Germany can get an idea of what the products that they are selling in their territories. And this concludes my demo. Hopefully you uh, gained some new insight on how to extend our uh, IBM Mashup Center and uh, produce some rich uh, mashups.